Well, now to our other top story tonight. An alarming crisis seems to be brewing inside the two King County jails. So thanks for joining us for the News at 5. I'm David Rose. And I'm Jamie Tompkins. Employees are painting a grim picture of the conditions inside an unsanitary facility and poorly fed inmates. Fox 13's Matt Markovich joins us now with these disturbing details. It's not a pretty picture if you really want to believe some of the people who work inside the jail, like the defense attorneys and the correction officers who testified at a King County Council hearing on the issues today in the jail and, and the request to release more people being held for felony crimes. It's a smell so strong, it'll make your eyes water. One after another, public defenders testified how their in-custody clients are being treated. They have not been able to get clean clothes for four to five days, and some have reported being unable to access shower facilities for seven to eight days at a time. These conditions are inhumane anywhere. The Constitution requires inmates to a safe, secure, and humane detention. We can't do that safely with the current jail staffing. Says the union president representing 900 correction officers. The jails have 100 open positions, and he expects another 100 officers to leave by year's end because of the stresses, including mandatory overtime. We currently have officers sleep in empty jail cells because members are beyond exhausted and can continue to operate in these inhumane working conditions. Even the head of the jail says, You know, I'll, I'll tell you, we've been struggling. It's a bleak picture of the inner workings of the downtown jail in Seattle and the one at the Regional Justice Center in Kent. We are asking you to take immediate action to reduce the number of people being held in custody pending trial. So defense attorneys are proposing loosening the restrictions for keeping people in jail who are awaiting court dates on various felony charges related to thefts and burglaries. The county prosecutor disagrees on a blanket immediate release policy. If you have somebody who is, steals a catalytic converter every day or somebody who breaks into a home every day and the police finally catch them, if there's these restrictions in place, they can't book them anymore. Currently, the average daily population in the jails is 1350. According to the prosecutor, 60% are in for violent crimes, 23% for sex and firearms violations, 8% are habitual offenders, 3% for failure to appear in court, and as of January 1st, only 12 were there for misdemeanor charges and convictions. Public defenders say with COVID infections among staff and inmates and to improve living conditions, raising the jailing thresholds is needed. Simply put, unless you believe this person is a danger to the community, use your discretion for the time being and agree to release them. And here's the rub. This was a hearing in front of a King County Council committee who really can't change jail policy. That's up to the King County Executive Dow Constantine, who has said many times already he wants to eliminate the downtown jail because it's expensive to run and he wants to see alternatives to incarceration.